All right, we're going to take a look here at a question. They want us to find the value of x given that x equals the square root of x minus 1 over x plus the square root of 1 minus 1 over x. So first way to solve this question here is we're first going to get a common denominator on the right-hand side here under each root, giving us the following here. So again, getting our common denominator, we now have the following. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and make the observation that the bottoms both are root of x. So I can go ahead and multiply across by root of x. Kind of clean up the denominators, getting everything to one spot in our equation. So now we have x root x equals the square root of x squared minus 1 plus the square root of x minus 1. Now we're going to go ahead and isolate for one of these radicals and square both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and isolate for the square root of x squared minus 1 and squaring both sides. After I square both sides, we get the following here. Again, I've got my on the left hand side of x squared minus 1. That root will cancel. And then expanding out the uh, expression that we have over here and squaring that, we have the following. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to bring everything to one side, trying to isolate the root. Uh, doing so gives us the following here. You'll notice I also took the square root of x, uh, which we see right uh, on this side of the equation, and I put that under back underneath the root here, as you see. Uh, so you have 2x equals the square root of x squared minus x is equal to x cubed minus x squared plus x. Notice that uh, this original equation, if we go back to the original equation, it only exists assuming uh, x cannot equal 0, right? You cannot have x uh, being 0 here. You'd be dividing by 0. So 0 is not in our solution set. So I can do go ahead here and divide across by x, giving us the following. I have 2 uh, root of x squared minus x is x squared minus x plus 1. And then continuing on here, we're going to go ahead and do a quick substitution. I'm going to let a equal x squared minus x just to clean this up a bit and uh, make the following observation. By doing so, and doing that substitution, I now have 2 root x, or 2 root a, I should say, is equal to a plus 1. Squaring both sides again, we end up getting 4a is a squared plus 2a plus 1. Bringing everything to one side and factoring, I end up getting here the a value is 1. Now, that's not what we're looking to solve for. We're looking to solve for x, but I know that a is 1, uh, which makes solving this much easier. If you recall, I let a equal x squared minus x, so now we set that equal to 1 bring it to one side and use our quadratic equation and we have our final answer. So we have two values here, one plus or minus the root of five over two. Now these uh, solutions should be checked in your original and I'll leave that for you guys to check out. But again, substituting these into your original equation, uh, make sure there are no extraneous roots here. Uh, so either they both must be admissible or possibly one of them uh, you might have to kick out of your solution. All right, thank you.